Hey everyone, we're John and Patty from Sweet Memories Cooking, and we're here to welcome you today to the Ingalls Table. We're gonna show you how to make <laughs> delicious steak bites. <laughs> That's right, John. We got everything we need um, from our local Ingalls, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so what we're starting with is we got some really beautiful sirloin steaks. Yeah. And for this recipe, you want to get a decent one that's about an inch. Yeah, it's, it's about an inch, yeah. And what I've done is I've taken them out of the package and I want them to come to kind of a room temperature, yeah. Yeah. but I've, I've really generously coated each side mm -hmm. with salt. And there's a couple reasons for that. Mm -hmm. uh, one is it pulls out the moisture. One is it pulls out the moisture and the other one is that it kind of breaks down the fibers, the tissues a little bit, so it, it really makes for a really delicious steak. Tender, tender, tender steak. Yeah. What I've got over here is I've got um, grandma's skillet. <laughs> I like using this this black skillet because uh -huh, um, it's a cast iron. It's a cast iron. Yeah. And <laughs> it just really gives it that nice. It's a nice crust, crust right? Crust when you're on trying the outside. To, what you're trying to get, uh, probably with every steak that you do anyway. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and I've got this um, set to kind of medium high. Mm -hmm. I've already put my oil in there. Mm -hmm. Use any kind of oil today. I've just. Put some olive oil mm -hmm. in. I start with about a tablespoon. Okay. I want to wait till the shimmers because yes, then you know it's you do. really hot. You do. You can you can actually see it if you when it when it's shimmering. You just tip the pan a little bit and it really does. It, yep. looks, it waves. <laughs> I've got a paper towel and okay. I want to. If you can see all of that moisture came yeah. to the top. Mm -hmm. So I want to remove that. And the reason we're doing this too is if you it it helps it get that nice crisp. Yeah, outside. well, it's really moisture's really your enemy, isn't it? When you're trying to when you're trying to fry it, when you're trying to when you're trying to crisp with crispy. anything, or even on a grill too. Yep. So when I see this, it's just <laughs> it, I it, see a little bit of a yeah. smoke. Okay. I'm going to put this in. <laughs> Always put it in away from you. Yeah. You'll hear that sizzle. That's great. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> this is going to go. This is great. Three four minutes each side. Uh huh. And once I put it in, I don't touch it. What I'll do right. is I'll look on the side <laughs> and I can start to see it cooking up the side a little mm -hmm. bit. When you see that, you can check. You see it, it's like about, almost like half? Or, yeah, it's about or halfway no. up. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is going to stay pretty much at this higher temperature. Uh -huh. And you're going to you know, see yeah. a little smoke in mm -hmm. there. Don't worry about it. You're not burning <laughs> your house down. Yeah, yeah. While I'm doing this, Penny, <laughs> would you talk about that okay. balsamic reduction? Okay, so this is, to me, this is what makes the mm -hmm. steak different than every other steak. It's a, it's a balsamic reduction. It's so easy, don't be afraid of it. <laughs> it's just equal parts of um, balsamic vinegar and brown sugar. And you kind of want to use the brown sugar. I mean, sometimes I've heard that people do use white sugar yep. sometimes, but the brown sugar has um, like a little molasses in it, so you get the nice benefit that of that. It just adds it's a, a little, little richness yeah, of a little flavor something. and a little background. <laughs> okay, and it's equal parts, so here's the other cup. And any aged balsamic will work. Yeah. Okay, I think that's about right. It smells really good too. <laughs> this is looking okay. wonderful. You doing okay over there? <laughs> now the temperature for a steak, what we'll do is, we kind of eyeball it because we've been doing this a while, but um, if you use your thermometer, it is 130. You want to pull yeah. it at 130 and then we're going to cover it up. Yeah, we're going to tent it. Mm -hmm. And the, the yeah. reason that we're doing this at, at this time is by the time uh, the steaks are done, that sugar's already been dissolved in there. Yeah. And all we have to do is heat it. And that will heat it a little bit lower temperature because you want to really get it so thick that you can run your fingers yeah, through a, it on the back like, of Almost the like a syrupy mm -hmm. consistency. Yeah. On and this one, when you put here. this on, you really do want to stand there and, and, and whisk it. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, this is great. That. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Yay. That's really good. Could you use... Um, like a Delmonico or some other type of steak too, or would you prefer the sirloin for this? I prefer the sirloin, mm -hmm. I, and I also per, prefer something without a bone. Yeah, well, yeah. Just for, for this purpose, because <laughs> then we're going to do when this is cooked up and it rests, yeah. and you want to let it rest for a good, well, really as long as it takes well, really, you to make this yeah. vinegar. Well, really, so maybe five, five minutes. Seven minutes, five, five to minutes seven at minutes, least, I would say. All yeah. those juices go back in, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it really, really yeah. good. Yeah, really tasty. <laughs> You know, today, Patty, because these are a little bit thicker, I think what I'm going to do, let me borrow this for a minute, okay. um, I am going to temp it, you see. Oh, yeah. Well, these are really nice ones. These are beautiful. Yeah. And don't be afraid um, uh, of the fat, <laughs> when you see the fat around the steak either, because that's what's going to melt down with, into the oil and give you, give you your flavor right. as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
So this is looking pretty good here, but it's still going to be still a little bit. Still going to be a little bit shy. So because we've got a thicker steak, I think what we'll do is we'll come back when we're ready to temp it. So yeah. probably five minutes we'll be back. Okay. Hey, we're back. It's been probably another five minutes, but I want you to take a look yes. at how beautiful <laughs> these steaks are. Look at the color we're getting. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pull these they out. Right. <laughs> and Patty is going to... I got Put a, a couple pans yeah. of butter on it. I got a, two pans of butter, one, one for each one. Just give it a little extra something. <laughs> a little extra flavor. What could be wrong with that, right? Nothing. Right. And then we will, like we were saying, what we're going to do is yeah. really tightly cover that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, this, is an, this is just as, uh, as important mm -hmm. to me as, um, you know, really getting the proper temp for your, for your steaks and stuff. Because right. you really do, I, John was saying, you want all the juices to uh, to stay with the steak and you know, whatever you're doing, you know, mm -hmm. for that matter. And then uh, instead of, you know, because when you go to cut it, otherwise all the juice will run all all across your cutting board, and yeah, the only piece in your meat. the yeah. only piece good will be the first one. So yeah. And uh, the we did this to a medium rare, which is about mm -hmm. 130 to 150. Yeah. So when I see that, and I'm temping it, and it hits 130. I pull it mm -hmm. and it'll continue cooking. Yes. It'll be just perfect when you get to that point. Over here, this is going to just come up to um, a boil, then I'll back it off to yeah. a simmer, and we're going to see this go. How are we going to put this together, Patty? What do you okay, have? Well, what goodies do you have to <laughs> What I'm going to do, do? Okay, well, what I'm going to do, I've got, I've just got just a regular, I like white plates, of course. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, cut it into like bite sized pieces, sort of. Okay. Put them on, assemble them on, assemble them on the dish and use these little um, toothpicks and go over it with the balsamic. Drizzle Beautiful. the balsamic uh, the reduction over it. And I'm um, just gonna, you know, break a little, a little garnish. A little garnish, yeah, a little parsley, a little Italian parsley. Great. And just go over the top with that and we'll be done. I okay. think we can do this, Patty. Okay. Right. And I'm gonna have you cut just do one for this one up because we, um, <laughs> okay. that's gonna definitely fill that plate. Mm -hmm. I was gonna. I have to say this. I'm sorry. Look how he's only pulling the foil back on mm -hmm. one because he thinks I'm not gonna cut. <laughs> he's afraid gonna I'm gonna cut both of them. All right. So this, this is really, liquid is gold. Okay. It goes right oh, yes. in the vinegar. Oh yes. Goes right in there. Okay. So for all intent and purposes here, I'm just gonna go right down the middle. Beautiful. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it looks great. It's like medium rare. That's what we want. Yeah. Oh, and this is nice. This is doing what it's supposed to over here. Mm -hmm. Right down the middle. I'm going to take a little bit of this fat on. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is the sirloin will have a bit of fat on the outside. Just Don't cut that off first. No, That's no. going to add to the flavor. Yeah. But for serving purposes, yeah, it really looks great yeah, when you kind of clean it up. And uh -huh. that's... Um, yeah, and kind then what, what you want to do... Yeah. Yeah, and what you want to do, you do want, they are bites, <laughs> so you do want to do maybe a little less than an inch. I should have had a bigger knife, a longer knife, so let me just do one side at a time. Okay. You guys are going to love these. <laughs> I can already see this is coming together because as I stir it, it's starting to stick to the side. It's oh, starting good. to yeah. coat the side yeah. of the pan. This is just It does help perfect. to use a nonstick too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can. Take a little, we are just a little more is. of the fat off because it's me. <laughs> Not yet. I'm too, I'm too interested in getting started here. Okay. So I'm going to start with these. I got these here. Okay. If you do have, um, if you happen to get a steak and it's a little bit thinner, just, just double them. You know, just put two on, two on a, uh, a toothpick instead. On a toothpick, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So try a little faster here. I think you're good because this is. Taking a minute. Almost there, but it's taking a minute. Okay. And I don't want to rush this because these no, are your big, work. your presentation and your uh, this reduction. This is your big. Uh, this is your big ta-da. Ta-da. That's <laughs> what I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna put these to the side for the cook. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nothing really will go no, to waste. No. No. <laughs> never. Okay. So I just got um, thought this would be pretty. Like I said, a white plate, and just some skewers. And just, you know, no, did you want to put a little bit of this? You can have enough of this to put a, a, a little drizzle on the bottom if you no, want. No, I don't, I don't think I need it on the bottom. Okay. I think I'm just going to go you straight know, in. Just go straight in. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
And you can see, well maybe you can, I hope you can. <laughs> you can see that there's hardly any um, juice coming out of the right. steak that's on the bottom. So it means you're gonna have nice juicy pieces. Oh, they look delicious. <laughs> and I like to be a little bit generous here because you'll yeah. see your guests come and, and dip that yeah. <laughs> steak in the in that uh, reduction you can also, and it's um, gorgeous. Put, put, a put, little, it on the side. put it on the side a little we bit could too. could do that too, they'd probably be smart. <laughs> 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 either way, they'll be happy either way. That okay. looks gorgeous. I think this looks great. All I'm gonna, all that's, that's left to do, and just a little break up. This is just regular um, Italian parsley. I love it. I just it. like to break it up a little bit, just pretty, put it over the top. That's it, you guys. Yeah. So give yourself 15 minutes in the kitchen, some great sirloin steaks, and mm -hmm. you have what? A wonderful. Yeah, a little steak bite, a little yeah. treat for your guests. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Be sure and check out the website for more tips, tricks, and recipes. We'll see you next time. Ciao.